I am hard myself. Je me suis moi Celebrating. Celebrant. Saying it has rained here. Et it has rained in this meeting. Yes, a pluie. La pluie tombe dans le Seigneur. Then I saw the clouds. Et la nuit et la pluie. I have come to shake you up. I see an earthquake. A historic earthquake. Until you return to Jesus. Hasta que tú devuelvas a Jesús. Shake the ground from side to side. Mexico. He has shown me tremendous earthquake coming to hit Mexico. These are the things that have driven God himself angry. Idolatry, perversion, worship of Satan. Now the city of Puebla in Mexico. I have seen earthquake hit several parts of Puebla because of the worship of Satan. Tremendous earthquake coming to hit the Catholic Church. Behold, repent. The judgment of God is coming your way. This is what the Lord says to you now. Repent in Christ Jesus and I shall restore you. Otherwise you will know that the Lord God Almighty has spoken. Now I ask you, give me a reason why I should not judge you. Give me a reason. Buildings collapse and gas lines explode after a magnitude 7.1 earthquake. The epicenter of the quake was in Puebla State. I have seen earthquake hit several parts of Puebla because of the worship of Satan. The Cathedral in Mexico. I have seen an earthquake split it off. Tremendous earthquake coming to hit the Catholic Church. Entre América del Norte y el Sur América. 
South of the U.S. and Mexico border has swayed high rises in downtown Los Angeles and San Diego and been felt in Southern California and Arizona. The 7.2 magnitude quake struck Sunday afternoon in the Mexican state of Baja, California. The quake was felt as north as Santa Barbara in California. Listen, I want to go to the phone now to Michelle Tapia. She is in Raleigh, California. She said she is feeling the aftershocks. Uh, we saw some of the, Michelle, the water splashing out of the pools here. We have not felt a shake like that since about 1979, 30 years ago. The earthquake and the aftershocks felt over thousands of square miles in two countries. An estimated 20 million people felt it. The quake was felt as north as California. From the epicenter of the earthquake, it ruptured in both directions, down towards the northern tip of the Gulf of California, and also towards the northwest through, through the Sierra Cucapan Mountains. Serious situation. We had a long talk with the USGS at 7.2, just south of the border of Mexico. The Lord asked me to bring judgment. The earthquake was so massive. I see one tall building with glass windows. And when that building was struck by the earthquake, it broke. The other part that remained standing is now tilted like this. It is it's still it's, and, and it does like this. And the Lord said, These are the signs of the coming of the Messiah. A deadly earthquake rocks one out in eastern Thailand. The hotel now leaning dangerously after its ground floor caved in. There is a historic earthquake coming to Philippines. And the buildings are collapsing, they are all about falling up, and people are lying. Because now I have set my feet here. Now it must take this. I see the land. The land has some hills, hills, hills. I see an earthquake coming to the Philippines. I see a horrific earthquake coming here. And I see up the hills there is an earthquake coming. The Lord is asking for repentance. 
I am announcing the coming of a tremendous earthquake, a historic temblor. It is coming to the United States. This is going to take place very soon. The White House shook as the quake hit. The Washington Monument begins to tremble and shake. The White House, the Pentagon, and the U.S. Capitol were all evacuated. As passengers ran to safety, there were immediate fears here that this was something worse. The earthquake forced thousands of people into city streets as buildings were evacuated. There is going to be a tremendous historic collision in the sky here. Or yahan pe aakash mein grahon ka ek bahut hi bada takrav hoga. It is an event that has never been seen since the earth was created. Or ye ek aisi ghatna hogi jab se prithvi bani hai tab se kisi ne bhi ye baat dekhi nahi hai. It will be the most tremendous collision that has ever taken place about the earth. और पृथ्वी में कभी ऐसी भयंकर बातें नहीं हुई होगी तब जब वो टकराएगा दूसरा चांद तब ये होगा. Father in the mighty name of Jesus. पिता महान यीशु मसीह के नाम में. With this hand you move the stars. ये ग्रहों को हिला देता है वो हाथ. Very soon. Gafra. It is coming from this direction here. Hiyo sayari nda toka kutoka upande huu. And is heading in this direction here. Na inaelekea upande huu hapa. And there is a collision somewhere. Na kuna hali ya mgongano mkubwa hapa. And there's a trail of fire. Na basi kuna hali ya moto mkubwa ukiendelea. What is coming? Yale tetendeka. To take the four corners of the earth. Kibadilisha kwa zote ile ya ulimwengu. To surprise the world. Ile kushtua ulimwengu. From this direction here. Kwa upande huu. It is coming like this. Inakuja hivi. In the space and the sky above the earth. Juu ulimwengu. And there's a collision here. Na itagongana pale. And then a trail of fire. Kuna moto. A pathway of fire. Jia za moto. And the whole world. Na dunia nzima. Will come out. Atitatoka nje. And they watch it. Na kuangalia. And they will be surprised. Na watashanga. There is going to be a collision up above the earth here. A mighty, mighty collision is going to take place above the earth. And I see it coming, and when it's coming, it comes as a block of white light with some rays, and it collides, and then fire-like particles are emitted, which collage in a group. They are clustered in a group. Fox News tonight, this is a Fox News alert. A violent cosmic crash in a distant galaxy. Scientists in the U.S. and Europe, for the first time ever, detected gravitational waves, the ripples in time and space, by closely observing two stars in outer space and watching as the stars crashed into each other. For the first time ever, scientists have seen the spectacular collision of two neutron stars. We have, for the first time, seen both gravitational waves and light from the collision of two dense stars. Two stars got closer and closer until they merged, resulting in a huge shock wave that rippled across the universe. The massive explosion, and here is the actual sound of the collision. And there's a collision here. A cosmic collision. Astronomers witness the collision. A collision of two neutron stars. The collision of two stars. A collision between two neutron stars. The collision of two stars. The collision of neutron stars. The collision of two stars. The collision of two neutron stars. And I see the particles are breaking off and sparks and a lot of gases and some bluish flames. What scientists actually observed. Light emerging, glowing blue and then fading to red before disappearing. It comes as a block of white light with some rays. And it collides and then fire-like particles 
are emitted, which collage in a group. They are clustered in a group. Smash into each other, causing one incredible explosion. The total energy emitted from this neutron star merger is more than the energy that the sun has emitted in its entire lifetime. We conclude that the total mass of all the heavy elements produced in this one single event is 16,000 times the mass of the Earth. Doubt that it comes into position. What looks like an air bubble and do like this? All an air bubble, if you have a blend mix of an air bubble. Two rapidly orbiting stars, neutron stars, generate a steady march of ripples in the fabric of space. Those are gravitational waves and now they have been detected. As a gravitational wave ripples by anything, it will stretch it and compress it. The Earth is stretching and compressing along with the rippling space-time. That's exactly right. The voice of the Lord is deep in the space. The tremendous and terrible God of Israel, He lifted me up and took me deep into space. The Lord, He commanded me to push two neutron stars with my left prophetic hand that they may collide in a most historic manner. Before they collide, they form an eclipse. And in such an eclipse, in such a way, that this other star is three quarter away, masking, covering the light from the other star. And then a tremendous historic collision takes place above the earth here. The most dreadful universal earthquake, universal quake that will shake the heavenly powers, the heavenly bodies until they almost crash on each other and lead to one of the biggest implosion ever. Very soon there is going to be a very tremendous collision of two neutron stars up above the skies here into the deepest depth of space and it will shake the universe. collisions of neutron stars. Gravitational waves resulting from crashing neutron stars have rocked our universe once again. LIGO measured it for the second time ever. Making it the most massive neutron star merger we've ever observed. Like three quarter away car and the other. And then the white light is still illuminating and shining out from the other side by the ages. The Lord took me into the hospital in Asia. There's a very big distress there. I see the lack of equipment. The doctors are running up and down, and many people flooding into the hospital. So there is going to be a big distress that is going to come into Asia. A big disease, distress of disease is coming. There will be a disease emergency in Asia. That distress will be like none other. A distress that has not been seen. This kind of distress, like. Lord has shown me just a few minutes ago when he took me to Asia will develop on this earth, will drop on this planet earth. An invisible killer is sweeping the world. There's growing concern about a new and rare virus in Asia. The WHO has formally declared the coronavirus a global pandemic. 
medical staff are under intolerable pressure. Doctors having to choose who lives or dies because there aren't enough respirators. What am I going to, what am I going to do with 400 ventilators when I need 30,000? You pick the 26,000 people who are going to die. With the left took me into India, where there's a very big distress there. I see the lack of equipment, the doctors are running up and down, and many people flooding into the hospital. India is experiencing the world's worst coronavirus outbreak. The waiting room at the Guru Tegh Bahadur Public Hospital is a sea of desperation. <laughs> Through the night, the pyres burn, the flames piercing the dark sky. Cities on lockdown. The world's largest COVID-19 lockdown for India's more than 1.3 billion people. All of Italy is now on lockdown. France under lockdown. 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 Full lockdown. Stay at home. Stay home. Stay safe. Stay at home. Stay at home. Stay safe. Stay home. I see a lot of monsters that have covered the entire land all the way up, almost one kilometer up, and they are knocking each other. It's too big, you can't walk through them. A lot of locusts entered and they smashed the land. They ate up the land. While the world fights the coronavirus, the air carries two plagues. Locusts swarms with as many as 50 billion insects. It's almost like a page out of Exodus, as billions of desert locusts swarm across a large part of Kenya. Look at the way the Lord 
Mabwana wangu. The Vieta Pope. Where is the truth? The Paul has won. Kiwete ametembea. My Lord. Talk to me. The Paul has won. I cannot hear you. The people just got an Can you take what I'm giving you? She's climbing up. And a panda juke. Look at that. Look at that. Angalia, you angalia. Okay, come. Jovasi. Look at where she's walking. Angalia jeans and a tembea. Macho ya kipopu ya mepunguka Glory Glory How beautiful